You were the decoy, huh? It's a good thing we don't have an escape counter anymore. Well. Uh, hey, boys. I'm gonna get the purrs going. Come here. <laughs> These guys are such a trip. I do not. I asked a question. He was like, come on. No one ever has Zuko. Hi, so, He was over here being a decoy while Zuko was waiting by the door. Oh, oh you were being a decoy? Who's being a very effective decoy? Oh, the dip flappers. Hey, your brother just said, were you laying inside your ball upside down? He was very cute. Oh, I have to see the video of him jumping on top of the. Show me later the. Uh, entry window. Mm. These boys were trying to eat everything under the sun mm. tonight. Beep, 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 Carolyn and Furball fan. Hello. I can't see because of my glasses. Oh, well, that's all I said. Forty-two people watching. All day I couldn't remember what day of the week it was. <laughs> I was driving home at around five, and there was like no traffic, and I'm like, gosh, it's just like it wouldn't be like this. I'm a normal. Ooh, I got to mark the thing. Oh, I put them away. Sorry, that's my bad. Here we go. Next minute, it'll. Go away. Hey, Dirk. Hey, Lizzie. My nose is itchy. Too. Hello. Mine too. Tomorrow morning, the garage. I was just thinking about that. Big day tomorrow. You may hear a lot of banging, I, cursing, and stuff like that. Or, uh, oh, that's right. The garage is right below here. Yeah. Oh, the boys must have heard us today. Sorry. No, they've been out running. No, when we were cleaning, they were in here. Oh. Sorry, I'm joking. Yes, tomorrow morning at ten, the guy's gonna be here to pull away some of the stuff. I'm very excited. We spent a couple hours this evening clearing out, moving stuff out of the garage into the driveway and prepping things for him. Yeah. I'm glad we did that tonight too. Me too. There's no way we would have done that in the morning. No. Yeah. We would have did it by six. And that ain't happened. <laughs> we found uh, Chilean's adoption papers. Hey, June. Oh, the purrs. Well, it wasn't her adoption papers. It was her, well, yeah, it was, it was her adoption packet. Yeah. So, you're right. <laughs> so I, Chris had a few questions tonight. She said, I hope there's no tears. 
I threw, I threw away a few stuffies. <laughs> no holds barred. It's all going to go. Even some of my stuff's going. I mean, I got rid of a lot of stuff before I moved in, so I don't have a lot of excess stuff. I got rid of, I got some rid of picture frames, cork boards, luggage. Hmm. Yeah, I could have a uh, Chris knock those uh, rod and steps off too. Yes, yeah, we're more than Think he would like that. Someone just farted. It wasn't me. Have you let him know that we have he has to be up by eight? Yeah, he knows. By eight? Yep. He asked me all the way home. Did you find the kitty humidifiers? I'm not sure what that is. Can you go into a little bit more detail, Liz? Swamp cooler. <laughs> we did find the oh, we did find the swamp cooler. Yeah, and it's uh, it's in, in the pile too. And my previous attempt and my the next attempt that I um, gave up on because it just wasn't. I was going all out to create. It was just too much effort. <laughs> yep, that went out. And too expensive. That Along was, with uh, all of his um, humid um, filters projects. Yeah, it's like a, I could have done it. But I needed a computer quality water coolers, and those are like fairly expensive. Yeah. Plus, is the whole fact that I would need to run a pump in there and have fans blowing air through the cooler. I mean, the the radiators, and, and at that point, it's just like, what the hell. Hmm. Oh yeah. Oh the, yeah. We that, that. yeah. That's down there. It's on the shelf underneath the painting supplies. The section we haven't gotten to yet. Yep. <laughs> oh, you just nearly did it. I'm saying like you did. <laughs> you can't see. Zuko, but he's looking very cute right now. He's hiding in the canoe over there. Tell I'm in camp too, you can. Tell the Chris story, the Chris uh, lunch story today. Hi Tracy. Hmm? Chris, when he was making lunch, what happened today? Oh, Chris, uh, we we uh, grilled burgers last night, and Chris was having one of the leftovers for lunch. He put down, he got a plate out. He put a hot hot our hamburger bun bun down. He turned around, grabbed the hamburger out of the fridge. And it was about, about that long. And when he turned back, Zuko was dragging off one of the buns across the counter. They did an extra good job doing the dishes today too. They were they were even in the sink and they were licking them. We're teaching them bad habits. <laughs> He's like, these guys, you know, if you're looking for a pair of cats that are funny, loving, sweet, adorable, and will keep you on your toes, that is these two. You won't have a dull moment with mm -hmm. these guys. It's probably best to have just, just these guys. And with lots of space for them to run around. Yeah, they were they, they were going. Cool. We were um, working and cooking and eating in the living room, but when they were out early, they were zooming all over the place, tearing down the hallway full speed. It was like streaks. All we saw was streaks. It's like he went by so fast, I thought it was Zuko because I just saw black and white. I'm so glad that we they get two day, twice a day like outings for. I mean, they were out for at least five to six hours today. When she said, "Yeah, yeah, they, they need it. They really do need it." 
<laughs> Lesson learned, Chris. <laughs> he tried to make dinner last night with them out, and I was napping on the couch or whatever night it was, and he just kind of oh, put them down. <laughs> and I was like, just put them in the room. No, I can do it. And he put them down, they jump up. <laughs> it was quite funny for me because I was sleepy. Yeah, they're really great boys. I am. Um, They're very, very smart, and so it's just so important to keep them preoccupied and entertained. And they're really good at keeping, you know, entertaining themselves with each other, but, you know, like today, Zuko, I have a window over the door, which is not... The like entry the, door. Yeah, the entry door. It was as narrow as this window sill was, and you know how the kitties... A kitten couldn't turn around sometimes without falling off. So he ain't going to be able to turn around, and it's a long drop. So I watched that happen while I was broadcasting the, the, the cameras for you guys. And I, like, ran out. My slipper was coming off. I was trying to keep it on. I, like, screwed it and kicked it. And I ran out here and grabbed him before he go try jumping down, like, 12 feet. It's like, that's why I... 12 feet? You wouldn't have been able to reach it if it was 12 feet. Okay. Maybe... It's, like, 9 11 feet. 11 and a half feet. He can reach I out. Can barely, I, I just barely was able to reach him. And he's tall, so I couldn't get him. I had to, like, grab his paw and, like, lead him off the edge. And, uh. It's one of John's worst nightmares. Penny realized his first nightmare when she jumped up onto the top. Oh, when it got out the window? Never, yeah. Well, we, well, we had the sofa there, so it's like she could land on that. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, more, more power to you. Mm -hmm. I'm not surprised at all these guys have done it. Like, I would, they're so athletic and so lean that I'm, you know, for me, I'm just like, eh. It's like I saw uh, B go jump down from there, you know, it's like, ah. B jumped down? Oh, from the triangles or from above the entry? The, uh, above the entry. She did? A, a long time ago. Oh, that's right. That's why you put that. Yeah, okay. And she, and she survived. Barely. <laughs> I've seen cats jump from two flights. Yeah, I know, I know. But it doesn't mean their chin don't hit the ground. It's a fish it's story. Is it good? Uh-oh, I hope not. Zuko took a big, giant dump right before I scooped tonight. Lisa, before. Somebody took a big, giant dump after you scooped. Yep. That's the number one. Penny was running around tonight. Right before we came in here. She's so cute. Penny wants in the garage so badly. So as we were, for the whole hour, we were cleaning it out. You could just hear her scraping and meowing and howling. And every time, it's like we have a bunch of stuff right down there with just enough room to step in to the hallway after we open the door. I open the door, she's in that spot. So I'm like trying to nudge her out. And she's like, I ain't moving. <laughs> she's like, let me in. So I gave her a tour tonight while I was holding her and she felt much better. 12 foot fish. <laughs> My aunt has a, a way of telling stories. We always say feet has feet on it. <laughs> stories have feet. <laughs> Still gotta touch the paw, that's protocol. See? <laughs> can we save you? Like, can you put it down, please? Mm -hmm. I'm stalking. Don't pet it. Can we save you? Will she be able to go in there after you clean it out? I would like to, but daddy's being mean. Once everything is secured in there, yes, you can. Like tools and stuff. We're trying to get the car, at least one car in there. Stop it! He likes it! <laughs> Stop it! <laughs>
You gonna go in there after him? He sees his brother just talking up. So what you're gonna do is put a toy right behind it and then feed the turtle. <laughs> a toy right behind? Or right in front of it so the turtle can feed and grab it and pull it in. See turtles backing up. Yeah, Zuko is Mr. Cool. Oh, he was? I didn't see Zuko. You were turtling earlier? <sighs> boop, 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 boop. So what's the weather supposed to be like tomorrow? Is it going to be raining as we're doing this? It's going to, it's like a 10% chance of rain at 6, and then it's like 30 or 40% by 10, and then it clears out, mm. supposedly. That is Chris on the way home. I was misting a little bit. Yeah, it started pouring in it when we were in there, so. So I've been going to bed at like 3 in the morning and getting up around 11, so tomorrow it's going to be a little painful. Yep. It's a quiet Friday night. I don't even know what day it is. What am I talking about? Oh, uh, there's got those newborn kittens over on Tiny Kittens and then a, and a pregnant mama on the other cam. I'm not surprised our viewers have dropped. And the boys, you know, are out and about quite a bit. If I'm able to, I try to show the house cams so you can watch them run around. But the thing is, these guys sleep a lot. Well, they run hard. They, yeah, when they get out there, they run really hard, and then they come in here and they crash. Oh, Tracy, it's been tough, actually. Like, that's my normal, probably, sleeping pattern, but it doesn't feel healthy or right, so <laughs> no, I feel guilty about it. <laughs> yeah, we should watch a movie together. Oh, my God, these two. That would be fun. Your phone tells you, yeah. I'm starting to come into the reality that this is not just like a month and a half, a month to month reality. I'm trying to figure that out too. It's like isolation? I was made for this. <laughs> Enjoying the change of pace, but it's just, I guess, coming to the realization that my business, you know, I was like, oh, the business will be back in two months. Yeah, I don't think so. Starting to come into that realization. Yeah, it's like we were talking about it earlier. It'll, it'll probably come back to a small degree, but it'll probably be a couple of years before it's back to where it was at the end of last year. When you're Business relies on people taking vacations. If they don't take vacations, you have no business. Yeah, it's just like it. It went. It was just like a cliff. It went off a cliff. And I guess it's that happened like a month and a half ago, and it's just starting to sink in. I guess I don't know. It's weird. Yeah, I guess I feel a little guilty just because, like, you know, we're sharing a house together now, and so I go to you know I sleep while he's going to work. <laughs> I feel guilty about that. Like, I don't feel like I can fully be done with the morning chores until, like, 1, 1 30 because it takes an hour to basically do everything in the house, and then I got to shower, and then I get distracted here and there. Usually, I'm, like, boom, 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 and got to be here, there, and everywhere, and so it's just a totally different feeling, but I guess I shouldn't feel so guilty about it. Yes, we finished chat late last night. I was channel searching, and... Oh, you... You saw Shawshank Redemption? Apparently, it's on Netflix for free until May 1st. Yep. And so, because we, we looked at it tonight, and we were, we were thinking, God, that's so creepy. 
And till it ends for two hour movie. Yeah. yeah. Maybe tomorrow afternoon we can do that. Hey, Zuko. I mean, Twix. Yeah, I mean, like I've talked to my um, so Ghosty saying that you know there's a lot of people, a lot of my clients are in tech and they're loyal, and they have been actually. I did like a deposit. Um, I offered a discount for making a deposit, and I was overwhelmed with one people just giving gifts uh, for supporting me, and two how many people wanted to do a deposit. Um, so I mean, it, they are amazing and. It's just, it, yeah, I was blown away by all of that. I think they'll be back, but I just think it won't be until later in the year. Yeah, you know, I just don't know. I think they'll be back, but I was thinking we'd be back up and swinging by May or June, and it's, I don't think that's going to happen. Mm -hmm. So a lot of them are itching to go out. I've had at least four to five people already ask me to go back to work early, and I've said no. So just going to have faith and really glad that my employees are able to um, get on unemployment. Nice thing about your job, though, is like social distancing is part of it. Yeah, but the, yes, it is. But I, I do worry about going in the houses and disinfecting what we touch, you know, mm -hmm. or apartments are a big deal. Like we go up and down apartment complexes, uh, elevators or opening doors. Um, it's, Lots of booties. Yeah. Oh, I can't even imagine Lizzie. Like, I don't envy coming, yeah, that Monday going back to work. But are you guys, weren't you guys doing uh, online stuff? I guess you'd still have to get up out for that then. Don't be banning anybody, boy. Made it over a year without a kitty banning him on. Of course, <laughs> I wasn't alive for a year, but still. Don't you worry about well, what? So in October and September down in Australia, that will be spring, right? Yeah. So you don't worry about having it happen like another wave then. Are they going through the fall right now? Yeah. It's flu season. Um, so, yeah, there's going to be a nature of, be of there's going to be another, a second wave once they start opening things up. That's just the nature of how things work. And then probably a third wave, smaller wave, um, next spring. Or this fall. But thankfully, medically wise, we're a lot farther than we were 100 years ago. That's true. We've got communication now, so we don't have people, you know, instant communication over the, over the entire world, pretty much. What about the whole Apple and Google thing with, uh, or the Android thing with uh, tracking? And a lot of, like, the ACLs is all worried about um, privacy concerns. I don't understand how all of that will actually happen. Like, if how is it tracking that I'm close to someone that had it? It's kind of weird. Yeah, when, and then when do flu shots start around here? Like in the fall, right? Yeah. I we'll have to make sure we get that. Um, he's chewing on it, so you better be careful because you're famous for getting clawed. <laughs> yeah, the shoulder where she, or Trillian got me in the leg and she called me a big sissy. <laughs> I had, she didn't say it out loud, but I could read it. <laughs> It's like this is a tiny red mark right here where one claw got into me when she launched off. You know, those little things hurt, you know. John gets wounds. clawed at least once a day by a cat. 
<laughs> for whatever reason. I've been lucky today. <laughs> it's not over yet. <laughs> well, it's only been on for 41 minutes. Oh, no. Yeah, my point is, is once we get into bed, you'll get clawed. <laughs> Probably. Nikita likes to climb up on top of me and start making biscuits. And when she gets spooked, she goes tearing off. The time she got me across the leg, I only had a sheet over me. I got an accent today. It's a southern accent. It's from that Washington Dixie. Ow! <laughs> I track all the sorts of stuff. Oh, that's creepy. And her, her dad, after going to the store, had multiple. What's going on over here? Yeah, I don't know how many times like I've sent something to you in Messenger and then all of a sudden I'm getting ads for it all over the place. I guess I'm okay with it, no. I would want to know if I've been in touch with someone that's... I, I'm, I'm a huge believer in it's the like, tracker. Yeah, I've been having my well, Android trap location sharing on for years. I just my, I like to know where I've been. But, yeah, for me, if it means... It's like if I get exposed and finding out where I've been, I was like, I've already planned on turning over my complete history. Yeah, right well, yeah, now. I mean, that is, well, your complete history is me. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of bruises from you poking me? I was poking over here. Okay, then. <laughs> I'm just joking, but I do. I'm sore. I think we're moving stuff around tonight. Mm -hmm. Yes, watching Heart of Dixie, and it's very difficult to watch just one episode. That's what ends up having me up until all hours. It's like I sit down and I have and I ask you for a recap for the shows I missed. I sound like the mayor. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we can watch a couple more episodes and see. <laughs> no. No, we gotta get up early. You think I'm gonna go to bed <laughs> in the next hour? Uh, Hey, the sooner we get to bed, the sooner we fall asleep. That didn't work last night. Mm. I had to rescue Ruthie. Oh, uh, yeah, those cats intervened yeah. in that one. <laughs> Ruthie came into the bedroom. She's rescuing Ruthie. She's the one who started it. No, she did not. Oh, it was B, that's right. Yeah, she was trying to get out of the bedroom, but she was on the far side of the bedroom, so she was trying to go over my chest to your chest to get out. I and I kept telling her no, yeah, because, that was Nick, territory. because Nikki was right here. Oh. And so if she went off the bed around, B was sitting there waiting for her. And then I wouldn't let her go over us. And she got upset? No, she just finally started to go with it and then got attacked by B. So then I was just like, ugh. Wait, who's going back to school? Where, Carolyn, where are you from? I might just want to strangle Lemon. Okay, Lemon's okay. I think, I think Lemon's just gorgeous. That's my problem. I think, I just love her hair, her makeup. Um, I mean, her personality is kind of annoying. But, you know, who I really don't like is Dee Dee, the mayor's girlfriend. No. Well, I think, Liz, I think Lizzie's seen the whole series already. Oh. Yeah. But we're on we're episode like 12, 12 or 14. Yeah, after the mayor broke up with Dee Dee. Yeah. Season one. My mom and her husband got into um, Virgin River. Nah, that's a freaking read. Oh, the actor who played the mayor's dad is Winston from Ghostbusters. Have you watched Virgin River? So that is a Netflix. And my mom and her husband watched it um, between yesterday and today, <laughs> all 10 episodes. So I told her I think that she would like Heart of Dixie if uh, they liked Virgin River. I'm on book four of Virgin River. I really like that series. I, I do audio tape, audio books. God, we got it. Can you remind me over the weekend to do um, his chin? And then we should start doing the training for jumping over. Look at that chin. Oh boy, that really is dirty. Hi, Carolyn. Yeah, Virgin River is good. Uh, where is that at? Oh, it's that's in, in Germany. Oh! 
Oh, yeah. there you go. The Schaffenberg. I, I lived there for three and a half years. My dad was stationed there in 83 and 84. That, that, I have very fond memories of the Schaffenberg. John wants to go back there one day. Me and my brother. Yeah, we do a family thing. Aberg. That's where I was in the seventh, eighth, and half of ninth grade. When ninth grade was in Hanau. Ernie has him. Um, okay, so school is going back in in Germany. I didn't realize that they were going back to school in Germany. And then guys in the UW are releasing a, a contact tra tracing app. Huh, that's cool. I looked up to see how you could be a tracer, contact tracer person, but they're not asking for anyone to fill any of those jobs. I guess they're all taken by like the National Reserve and stuff. And they'll have 1,500 people by the first week of May doing it. Nice. No, you aren't even fed. Yeah, the apartment complexes we lived in, the Schaffenberg, have been remodeled and some of them torn down. I think the elementary school was torn down a year ago or so, or middle school. Actually, I think it was elementary and middle. a good boy. When's that show come out that you wanted to watch with the guy? I think I saw an ad for it just now. You showed Chris to it the other day. Defending G? No. Unfortunately, this app requires pretty much it only works when people that installed it, but yeah, I'll get it. Well, isn't that how all of it's going to be? You don't you have to all, all, all approve it and, and join in? Android only, only, only right now. Oh. Okay, hey, uh, Tracy, can you uh, DM that to me on Facebook? Appreciate it. Oh my gosh, you, have to, you guys have to see the kitties. Probably see him on cam too. Look how long he is. Yeah, he's laying in that, that's a large cat canoe. And his head's sticking out one end, and his tail's sticking out the other end. Zuku is focused. Oh, I missed that shot. All right. You gotta just take it. <laughs> I was trying. <laughs> she, just, she says that to me all the time. He tries to get, like, the most perfect picture ever. I try to get a level. And, and then by then, the cap's gone. I lost the accent. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I agree with that. Well, I mean, I'm just so so surprised. That she's crazy. So surprised by people's thing is like, oh, if we all just get the virus, we'll just get it. You know, and let it run its course. Like they don't. It's just they don't realize it. You know, if they get it, they won't know it, and then their parents get it, and then they die. It's just crazy. But, but no, but like that lady in Olympia last weekend, she was an older with 
older lady in her 40s saying, well, if we all get it, we all get it. And I have a feeling like when people open back up, that's going to be their thoughts. You get to the point where you just desensitize. Yes. Because that's how I was all along. It's like, if, we get, if I get it, I get it. But mm -hmm. I'm going to try damn hard not to get it. Because I know I'm getting... I'm creeping up on that 50 meter mark. <laughs> but I, I have a very robust immune system. Like when that, the times that we had the very bad flu came through and I got it, I was, I beat it in like two days. I wanted to have people out for a week. And not only if they die, they also, um, no, I, I'm for, <laughs> 45. I'm 49. So I'm 45. So no, I, when how I say old, old later. You just asked me how old you were? I forget. <laughs> no, I, can, I can't make fun of her about that. So, I, can, I forget too. Um, Except now. Cause I'm almost but going old. back to the, um, Tracy's comments says, you know, if they die, they die even if they're young or healthy, but also if they, they live through it, they end up having repercussions later on. That's the other thing. And it's months upon months. And no, I didn't see the uh, mayors in Snohomish County. Oh, really? Basically saying we need to, to be careful and open. Yeah, we still got to do the social distancing. People were talking about having restaurants where there's gaps between tables or only every other table being full, filled. Um, we definitely have, you know, if we open up, we need to be very smart about it. Not just not going willy-nilly like we had, like nothing ever happened. Yeah, and I said, I'm not sure if I'm saying her name right, is correct about the, you know, I agree, the hospitals, right? They're not going to be able to handle both, even the flu and this at the same time. Yeah. So, yeah, flattening curves. Now the Seattle curve is very flat because we started up real early, and uh, and um, that one city in California, um, San Francisco. Yeah, San Francisco locked down fast and hard, and their curve is is much lower than everybody else. Well, not everybody. It's they're one of the lowest lower curves. Northern California, but Southern California is having some trouble. Yeah, they locked down later. And they're learning new things about, about it. Like they're learning now that they try to, even before they need respirators, they've been giving um, and, and extra oxygen. I forget what it's called, some kind of new respirator. Uh, resp the not, ventilators? Yeah, it's a ventilator, not a, respir re not a respirator. Um, I think it just conditions the air that they're breathing. And I think there's also not to give any credits to uh, certain credits, but um, there is evidence that people being treated that were treated outside have a shorter duration than people being treated inside. And maybe because of the fresh air, maybe because of ultraviolet radiation, <laughs> we, we don't know yet. It's too soon. In the beginning, uh, Lizzie, I had someone that was up behind me, and I and it was an older lady, like when I older lady, older than me, like in her sixties or so, and I had to turn around and say, "Social distancing, please, please back up in a line," because she just was not giving me any. I saw a picture of a guy, t-shirt on the back says "Social distancing." Now, if I can turn around, turn around and punch you in the face, you're too close. Yeah, San Francisco has done amazing. Hey, buddy. I'm not familiar with the Stanford study. <laughs> I was trying to see if he found some of you.
Yeah, I think that's basically what I was seeing, what I heard about Tracy. Something that enriches the, uh, the air with oxygen that helps them breathe beforehand and it helps keep their energy and strength up. And it seems taking deep breaths, stretch the lungs out, sitting up. Laying down may not be the best thing either for it. That's, you know, this is the trouble with uh, a brand new virus, you know. You best practices may not be the best practice for it. Will you stop that? <laughs> You're just trying to get me hurt, you know, 57 minutes into the day. I'm not trying anything. I'm playing with the kitty. Oh, is that the one where um, they believe that? Oh, already, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's like when it was spreading around the U.S. long before the they thought it was. It just wasn't. The people that were dying of it were dying, basically misdiagnosed or <laughs> dying at home. It looks like the mist that doesn't remove. Because it's right behind me. Lying on the belly helps open up deeper parts of the lungs. Interesting. Santa Clara County's numbers of COVID-19 positive people are 50 to 85 times higher than what has been recorded. Wow. And they're not even, the government's not even tracking nursing homes, one of the most vulnerable population for this. For not surviving. It makes no sense. Oh, it's yeah, it's definitely way worse than what they're. It only makes sense if you want to get the impression that your numbers are low. Like not wanting to ship the dock in the U.S. ports because that would double the numbers. Uh-oh. I ordered new slippers. You're probably, even with, uh, yeah, it's like once a body's buried, there's no way to find out. Ruthie's on the move on the catio to keep an eye on her. Uh-oh. A lot of the flu deaths in January and February, probably COVID, or flu reported deaths. Until we get massive testing going on, there's no way to know for sure how bad it is. But we definitely need everybody to be able to get tested somehow in a fairly short order. Like they need a mail test kit to every house. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. The post is paid, returned. Okay. What what test kits? You need to have telephone test kits. Yeah, they they said two kits to each house. Someone's tucking himself into bed. Yeah, and the other one. Bed too. The other one already did too. <laughs> Ruthie went downstairs, so at least no one's harassing, not harassing each other. We didn't want another big blow up like last week. <laughs> Those Aussies people, you know, you can pull up any picture of Australia and there's that probably at least two to three hundred, you know, creatures in that picture that could kill you. Like drop bears. So Australia looks like they're going to try to track COVID through poop. <laughs> hey, install sensors in every toilet. <laughs> Have a little klaxon that goes off. You can take something. It scares the crap out of people. These are so cute. Yeah, they're tired. Because it goes on top of the heater bed. I put the heater there. Oh. We're supposed to be tired too. We can post that. Uh oh, now he's bouncing off the walls. Could you put this back on me, please? Oh, please. <sighs> oh really? Wombats have square poops? That's kind of oh, yeah. cool. They stack as a territory of marker, I think. So that's cool. He just grabbed one from me. <laughs> he literally put his head in there and so we have less treats. Mm -hmm. Smarty pants. Square poop with rounded edges. He gives a good kiss, doesn't he? Mm-hmm. He gives the best kisses. Are you gonna sit? Are you gonna sit? Hey, who wants to do the kiss? Okay, good boy. okay I'll sit. <laughs> and he sat too. says that a while back she found plush toys of wombat poop. What? That's a big thing. Probably not. It's probably just a square of plushy <laughs> with rounded corners. Yeah, probably should. Yeah. I wouldn't surprise me that there's plushy poop. Not at all. Oh, give me cuts. We have poop plungers. We have poop hats. Just a baby. <laughs> I didn't tell the squirrel's food. I guess so. Faces on to them, on them too, just like the pie poo plushies. Is the poop haps the fat still around? Uh, I don't know. I think the poop plushies around here somewhere. Or it might have gotten thrown out. Or it might have got thrown out. 
<laughs> there would be times that early on when he would we would we would debate over something being thrown out. <laughs> you still do. She wanted to toss the contact rings. I was like, no. Ugh, they're so dirty, people. I'm sorry. Anyway, they're still there. But there would be one of the things when we first started the project was is that I don't know how to explain it, but it was like the garbage couldn't just go in the garbage. Like everything either had to be recycled or it had to be taken down apart first. <laughs> it's this whole like process of reasons why it couldn't go in the garbage. <sighs> and then there'd be times where he wasn't looking, I'd be like, garbage. <laughs> Flushies, not flushies. Tracy says we can steam clean them. Yep, all of a sudden I'll drop them off at your house. Look at, can you see his chin, how bad it is? It just needs to be hot, compressed. It's just so young to have. <laughs> I mean, it's just, These are terrible twos. He's not too well. Well, yeah. Oh, you're right. Um, we gotta put that in better because he, he's. No, you're right. That's old. He's what? That's the other girls, the triple twos. Oh, can you? Uh, oh. Well, I guess how old are they in cat years though? They're approximately seven or eight years old. Yeah. In human years. These guys. Yep. I'm not quite teenagers. Oh, she's the baby. Who's the baby? Who's the big baby? They're, they're the, they're Dennis the Menace age. No, oh, they're so cute. And we love the Dennis the Menace age. Yeah, I think you're right, he likes it. Oh, my brother's licking him. As soon as uh, Zuko gets up, we're going to be heading out. The early morning is 1 a.m. What is he doing back up there? Is he chewing? Oh, he's got his toy. The baby. Yeah, Poop Bat has gone down the proverbial toilet. Got flushed. He's longer than my legs. He's like, who put that there? It's in my way. All right, guys, we head out. Head out now. Well, good night. We'll be in quickly in the morning to feed the tigers. And we'll be working. Yep. Oh, I can't wait. Fun times. Be a little walk through the garage. Actually, I am looking forward to that. I'm tired of sidestepping. <laughs> yeah, you have to sidestep to get anywhere. <laughs> All right, good night, guys. Good night. Sleep well. Bye, babies. Enjoy the kitties. Have a nice day.